All right, what's up everyone? Um, so I wanted to do a brief video on uh, SCIM. Uh, I'm just gonna call it Skim. Uh, actually, a, a subscriber recommended this to me. Um, it is a terminal-based uh, spreadsheet manager. Uh, and I have sort of implicitly always been looking for one of these things just because uh, you know, you might have seen some of my videos where I'm doing my workflow and I have all these terminal programs that are all Vim based and then I have to use Excel for something and I have to open up this huge program, yada yada. It's just a huge pain. Um, so he directed me to this and I actually love it. I, I've only gotten, I, I don't want to say superficially into it because there's so much you can do in this program. Um, but it is uh, definitely worth looking at. I might do videos on the f in the future on this as well. Um, so I'm going to open it up. Uh, again, it's terminal-based, so you can just open up uh, any file. Uh, it reads CSVs. Uh, its files natively by default are like uh, SCs, but it can read CSVs, it can read Excel files, stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Actually, I'm going to make it a little bigger, so maybe you can see it better. Um, so let me turn on screen key, that would make sense. Uh, just right off the bat, you have uh, Vim-based bindings, uh, so you have like HJKL to move around. You can use the arrow keys if you really want. I don't know why you'd want to do that. So you got HJKL. You also have things like so, like uh, capital L for the lowest portion or capital H for the highest portion, uh, capital M for the middle, stuff like that. Um, you also have let's see what other Vim kind of things. So you have like GG to go to the top. Um, G and then uh, dollar sign is go to the like rightmost visible place. Uh, you have G zero, which does the same thing. Of course, it won't force you to go to uh, the first line like GG will. And I th think you also have GM, and that puts you in the middle. So just basically Vim like bindings. And even with just these, I'm already sold because whenever I'm using Excel, whenever I pull that thing up, uh, I just already want to use Vim bindings just because I've been using them everywhere else. So this is like already a selling point for me. Um, but um, there's a whole lot of other stuff as well. Uh, so inserting stuff. So uh, skim treats text and numbers, like strings and numbers as essentially different things. Uh, now to insert text, uh, you usually use the angle brackets. Um, so if I do right angle bracket, I can just type in you know, some kind of text. And that will actually have it right aligned. If you want left aligned text, you use the left angle bracket um, and do that. Or you can also have the backslash, which uh, will put it in the center. So all of those are ways of inserting text. Uh, but unlike Excel, it's not, well, Excel technically treats texts and numbers differently, but you sort of put them in the same way. In Skim, you insert numbers with the equal sign. So you, I can say insert four. Um, and now this, it appears as 4.00. Um, this is, you know, uh, it treats that as a number. Um, and in fact, you can actually have numbers and strings in the same cell. So you can have, you know, string. Uh, so you'll see up here, it actually uh, has a string and four in it. Uh, but of course, if I want to get rid of that string, I can just write over it by typing in zero. Um, so the other thing that's pretty cool is, uh, well, actually, I, sh I should go ahead and say this. So let's say I have a really long string. So this is a long string. Uh, this sort of annoys me by default. Skim like just puts a puts a bunch of asterisks. Asterisks. Is, what a difficult word to pronounce. Um, so it puts a bun bunch of the stars, and um, so which is kind of annoying. I don't know why they just don't like uh, you know strip off a part of it. But if you want to see the whole text, you just press. AA and that'll give you the automatic uh, length of it. Um, so again, there are Vim-like keys here, so you can press X to delete something in a cell. Actually, I can realign that by pressing AA again. Now it's sort of automatically aligned. Um, and also, if you don't, if you just want a little bit more room, you can use F. F is sort of, uh, well, if you use FH and FL, um, so FH will uh, shrink a column, FL will make it a little bit bigger. So those are both pretty useful. Um, and you might be wondering what F, uh, J, and K do. Uh, and if you actually look at, uh, I don't know why I'm pointing to it, like you can see it. But if you look at four here, if I press F, J, uh, you'll see that that actually decreases the decimal value. Um, F, K will actually increase it. So that's a nice little tool to have um, when you're, especially when you're doing sort of advanced equations and you want, uh, you really care about your decimals and stuff like that. 
Um, so anyway, this is just, we're only barely getting into this stuff, so that's inserting text. Um, you can also modify it, and the way you modify text can actually be vim-based as well. So let's say I have a really long string, so this is a long string, uh, and a long, yeah, and I'll go ahead and uh, modify that. So uh, in addition to treating uh, numbers and strings as fundamentally different, you also edit them differently. So if you want to edit a number, you go to that and just press E and you'll be able to change that to whatever other, or excuse me, uh, you'll be able to change that to whatever else. Um, so let's say some number. Um, but if you want to edit text, you have to use capital E and that's just because they're different. Now, when I'm in this, I'm in basically edit mode. Um, which is, as you may be able to guess, it's a Vim-like mode. So if you look at my cursor up here, if I press B, uh, it's going to use Vim uh, hotkeys. So B means back a word, uh, W means forward a word. So I use, you know, H and L to move around. So you really have like Vim bindings here. We'll, so we'll replace this uh, CW change word to this R, something like that. Um, and so that's how you, you, even the editing mode is Vim-based, which is really nice to have. Um, so anyway, so this program, this is basic uh, manipulation, but of course there's, there's more than that as well. You also have commands that you can sort of string together. Um, so DD by itself is uh, like delete, delete whatever you have highlighted. So I've deleted this text. Now if I move to some other place, just like in Vim, you can use uh, P to paste it in. Uh, or YY is yank. Um, and you can, you know, paste it wherever you want. Um, in addition to that, you can also, if I use V, uh, you have a visual mode in this, this, just like in Vim. So I can highlight a bunch of stuff, yank it up, uh, put it wherever I want, stuff like that. It's absolutely fantastic. Or let's say I made a huge mess, so I want to get rid of all this. Uh, I can just highlight it all and press either X or DD, and it's going to delete it. Um, you all, also columns and rows are sort of objects in Skim. Uh, so if I if I'm on row E or column E and I want to get rid of it, I can literally just say D for delete, C for column, and it's gone. Uh, and I'll delete this one as well because it has stuff in it. Um, so you can literally just do stuff like that. Or as well, you can yank uh, columns and you know, say I want to yank this row. So Y and then. Uh, R to yank the row, and then I can go and paste it in a million times. Um, there's also a difference, so P is the normal paste. You also have T, uh, which will put, uh, it's sort of like in Vim, the difference between P and capital P in terms of um, if it creates a new row below or where you actually are. Uh, and of course, like Vim, you also have U for undo, uh, control R for redo, stuff like that. So. Um, pretty much all the basic stuff. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, and if you do have, um, like Vim, you also have numbers that you can repeat commands with. So let's say we're up here. Well, I can do nine and then K to go up nine uh, cells. If I'm on this one and I press, uh, I'm gonna have to remember, I think it's a little different from Vim, but if I do nine delete row, yeah. Uh, so that deletes all nine rows downward. Uh, I don't know if you can specify direction, like if you can say delete upwards, there might be a way of doing that. I just don't know it off the top of my head. Um, so I'm trying to think, uh, so, oh yeah, and of course ex expressions, that's another huge thing. So let's, um, just like in Excel, let's say we have a bunch of numbers, let's say we wanna calculate the average of those. Um, it works pretty much just like it would work in Excel. The syntax is sometimes a little different. So let's say um, if you want to find some kind of, if you want to run some kind of function or expression uh, on numbers, you can just go to a cell and say equals. Uh, and then let's say I want to use the, I want to average numbers up. So I'm going to do the at sign and then AVG, I think is how they do average. And then you put what you want averaged in uh, parentheses. So we'll do B1 all the way to B4, because we want the GPA average. And I think that might have to be capitalized, but whatever. Uh, so just run that, and now this is um, the GPA average. Um, and of course, you can, if, you know, I can modify this, I can say, let's say Terrence has a GPO, GPA of zero. As you would expect, that does change the expression. So these, they're not like static, of course. Um, so it's what you, you'd expect. Um, I will say one thing, if anyone's used this program before, there's one thing I don't know how to do, which I think you probably uh, can do. Um, so if you are an Excel user, you're familiar with the fact that like, if you have an expression in this column, 
Uh, you can basically just uh, tell Excel to move it over here and apply it to the things in this column instead. So hypothetically, if I copy this here and paste it there, um, I'd want the average of this stuff rather than this stuff. Um, but there doesn't seem right off the bat a way to do that in skim. I'm a little I don't know if I'm disappointed There's just so much that I don't know about it yet, but that's one little thing So if anyone knows about that tell me uh, I sort of feel like there will be something um, In addition to having these functions you can run on so you have average you can have um, uh, max Min I think min uh, different kind of um, you know these functions that you can run on numbers but you also have things that you can run on text. So for example, um, it always conf I don't do this much, so it always confuses me. Um, if you insert uh, backslash, and then I think an open quotation mark, you're not gonna close this, but uh, this means an expression to be run on the string. So there are some like um, at sign uh, upper, and then that's gonna take, uh, I'll feed it just some text. Um, and that will automatically put that in uppercase. Uh, and I think, I think there's a way, um, see how, okay. Um, I think there is a way to say like a particular um, cell. So if I do A4, okay, maybe not. There's probably a different way to do that. You might put, uh, you, there might be some other parentheses or something. Uh, but I know there is a way to have like a, a something running on a, another cell or something like that. Oh, and I should say, um, as you would sort of expect, in addition to having like you know number modifications, so five to the right, five to the left, stuff like that, uh, you can also do something like um, uh, go and then b two, and that'll take me directly to b two. Um, so that's another thing, another vim like thing that uh, is in here. Um, but anyway, so this is basically skim. This is sort of an introduction. Uh, I, it was a little rambly because there's so much about this, but I definitely encourage you to look into it. I'm having a lot of fun sort of figuring it out. Uh, oh, and of course, how do you save? How do you save files in skim? Well, uh, colon W, as you would expect. Um, and if, you know, just like in Vim, you can name it as something else or, you know, see as, you know, something else. Um, but uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, so I definitely encourage you to check this thing out because it is pretty cool. Um, and uh, there's not, I, again, I don't know how to do everything in this thing, but I definitely plan on moving toward it if I can in the future uh, as a total replacement for Excel. Because that's really the only thing in like an office suite that I would actually use. And I'd prefer not to. I'd like to be able to rely on some kind of Vimish uh, terminal program uh, just to have all the workflow in sync. Uh, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and, uh, you know, throw your comments if you have any. So I'll see you guys next time.